It's a bi-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e
I like to keep my metabolism on her toes. Like, what's it gonna be today, hun? Complete starvation or 3,000 calories? I know as much as you, bitch. Literally me, I'm crying. I love Mando's vibes. Imagine some guy rolling up to your shop in a beat-up Honda Civic. He steps out wearing an Armani suit. He opens his wallet and offers you $2 to fix his car. You tell him it isn't enough, but you'll fix it if he does the most dangerous thing you could think of. He brings his toddler to do the job. Damn. So how are y'all coping with the Tumblr Facebook merger? God, we really are in hell, aren't we? Please, I got so scared. You very much live up to your URL. Literally felt my heart rate go up. Good to see this account is doing its job. <gasps> Guys, PewDiePie deleted his YouTube channel! You know, the discontent I spread is incomparable to the horrific deception you force into this world. I'm having a salad for dinner. Well, fruit salad. Actually, it's mostly grapes. Okay, it's all grapes. Fermented grapes. It's wine. I'm having wine for dinner. Hey, is everything okay? You haven't commented barking sounds under a picture of your favorite male character, and I'm starting to get worried. Don't call me out like this. You know what truly disgusts me? Being able to feel my own heartbeat. It's bad. I don't need to actively know what's going on in there. Don't need to feel that. It's not in my business. Stop it. Never underestimate how little I know about everything ever. Two plus two is... Fuck off, read the first part! No thoughts. Head empty. Only goth chinchilla. It's adorable and I want 20. So why are you British? Was cursed by a malevolent warlock at birth. Is that any way to speak to your parents? Both of you to assume I was born of mortal means. Culinary students be like, I got spaghetti due at 1150. Culinary students about to cheat. I sure hope no one checks under my hat. Listen, listen. As a former culinary major, you right though? If you wouldn't go to someone for advice, don't take their criticism either. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, LP woke up and chose logic today and I don't know how to feel about that. My husband has informed me that around 2 to 3 a.m. he woke up to a muffled screaming and discovered that the cat has pulled open the Tupperware drawer and crawled inside. But her weight had closed the drawer and she was stuck inside and needed rescuing. Permission to laugh? I mean, I definitely laughed. How does a cat open a cupboard drawer? With a little criminal paws. Can we see the little criminal? This cat is a delinquent. Hey, her only crime is being more beautiful than everyone else. False, she also knocks over trash cans. <sighs> the evil baby. Tumblr is like wading through everyone else's garbage until you find something good and go, ah, this is good, and take it and display it in your own pile of garbage. Oh, the goblin market. I love when you listen to a new song and you're like three seconds in and you're already like, yes, this pleases me, it is mine, my song, all about me. Oh, yes, a fire truck, or as my little cousin likes to call it, a fuck. I hate when I go out in public and the public is there. Well, now it seems the public is no longer in the public. Knife one. But at what cost? Must the corpse of everything I once held near be dug up again and reanimated into a monstrosity that barely resembles what I once loved? Must the sweet memories from my youth be snatched from within my very skull and paraded around the town square for all to see? Must we continue to play God with our old and tortured creations who beg to be put to rest? This is about the iCarly reboot, by the way. I'm sorry, what? Hey, stop calling me a weeb. I can't even afford a lifestyle. Once, my brother's friend walked into his room and just started sniffing the air and went, oh, I smell a quarter. And then walked over to a pile of clothes and moved it and picked up a quarter. And I literally cannot stop thinking about it. It's been like a year and it haunts me to this day. I'm pretty sure he's a crow reincarnated. Why must snow turn into an eternal flashbang on sunny days? Um, excuse me, Mother Nature. Um, yeah, I kind of like my eyes, so can you fucking not? Okay, not to be a theater nerd too much, but tech crews, including people who do lights, sound, costume sets, and work backstage on shows, deserve far more recognition for their hard work. You right, though. And finally, Spider-Man. Oh, dear God! I never give up. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja way. My dream is to become the greatest Okage. That way the whole village will stop disrespecting me and treat me like I'm somebody. Somebody important. My name is Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm gonna defeat every single one of you. Believe it. Hello, it's I, A.M. Seymour, except I am good this video. Don't question it. Anyway, PM by dumb luck was infected with the big thing YouTube won't let you say and cannot scram. So, 
he has gathered a bunch of voice acting buddies to take over his job for today, and I hope you all enjoy. Merry Crimbo. Serotonin. In this economy. This is it. We found the ultimate specimen in millennial humor. We did it, everyone. We did it. I have an overactive imagination. So that translates into fears of a lot of things. One of those things happens to be the dark. However, I am extremely fond of cryptids, SCPs, ghosts, and, and any other weird creatures. Basically, if it looks cool, I love it. So I accidentally removed my fear of what's watching me in the dark, you see, by thinking, Oh, don't worry. They're just a friend. You come into my chilies, barbecue sauce on your titties, and disrespect my Valentina white bag? Ah, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. You're disrespecting a future US Army soldier. I think I know more about American girl dolls than you. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. Evening, Grom- <laughs> No, nope, not giving anyone the satisfaction. Today I learned that in 1508, Otto France pressed charges on rats for destroying barley crops. The lawyer representing the rats argued that the court's summons wasn't specific enough to his clients, and that Otto's cat population made it unsafe for his clients to come to court. The rats were acquitted. I want to meet the guy who offered to represent the rats. Business card says rat lawyer. Today I learned on the set of The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant once let out a 16-second fart and brought production to a standstill. Nobody said anything except director Rob Reiner, who said, uh, Are you okay, Andre? To which Andre replied, Who you know, boss? Legends only. Him crying the lack of a comma meant that for a full minute I interpreted this as him declaring himself the new boss. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about that. Look at this! His feet too big for his goddamn he! How dull for you to live your life without any hills to die on. You on your vast flat barren plains of compromise, acceptance and accommodation. While I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit I have irrationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. As someone who was terrified of having their own opinion, this is truly inspiring. <laughs> the hills are alive with all the fucks I give on select topics. You know what? I don't care anymore! I enjoy things, and I am going to enjoy things, and I don't care if other people don't enjoy things that I do! I do not have to defend myself about every single thing I have ever liked! I do not have to preface every opinion with I know it's garbage for it to be valid! I like things! And I like liking things! And I don't care what other people think! And now that I've gotten that off my chest, let me read the Tumblr post for you, Pat. You ever have just one of those times where you and your friend just want to try something for a photo? Just for fun, not really expecting anything, and then... Like, we'll never be able to repeat this. You look like angelic ethereal beings from a gay musical set in the turn of the century American South nominated for like five Oscars. Well done! That's exactly what I told him to go for right before we jumped. I'm so happy we achieved this. Me in history class. Wow, humanity has been through some fascinating times. I wonder if I'll ever live through major historical events. Me, uh, no. No, 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 no. I want to get off this ride. It was supposed to be space travel. 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 It was supposed to be space travel.
it's just silence, but it keeps getting faster. <sighs> this is stressing me out! Children, this is dirt. A geology field trip. My ancestors, watching me dump an entire stick of cinnamon, two cloves, an allspice berry, and a generous grating of nutmeg into my tea, sweetened with white sugar and loaded with cream. While I sit in my clean warm house surrounded by books, 25 plus outfits for different occasions, and six pairs of shoes. In a building heated so well, I have the windows open in mid-autumn. Our daughter prospers. We are proud of her. She has never labored in a field, but knows riches we could not have imagined. I like this so much better than the idea that our ancestors would be embarrassed or ashamed of us for being soft or some crap like that. Gatorade and weed can cure literally anything. The government doesn't want you to know this. The reason it took so long for them to develop a COVID vaccine is that they were too busy covering up the fact that Gatorade and weed can cure coronavirus. Me, when the electrolytes hit. <laughs> I begin typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine. But then I stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it into the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowells, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is! Okay, is anyone else like exhausted, just way too tired, mentally and physically, and you look at other people your age who seem to be doing fine, and you feel so dysfunctional and broken because normal adult tasks and responsibilities just feel way too overwhelming, and you can't cope, and... Sorry, I got a bit overwhelmed there. Sometimes when I'm struggling with self-care, I remind myself that I am, at my most basic, a hamster in an enclosure. I need food and water and a safe environment. I need enrichment and the right level of stimuli. I get exhausted if exposed to too much stress and handling. I am a being with needs, and I deserve to have those needs met by a responsible and loving caregiver. I just happen to also be that caregiver. When I think about it like that, it's easier somehow. Also, I am round and furry, and my teeth grow at a spectacular rate. So, I had a nightmare last night and that I told Kermit the Frog that I found him very funny, and he got terribly offended, and he started going on a rant, and it ended with him telling me he was going to set his house on fire and make me eat the ashes. Don't know why that was the way he went with it, but... Who am I to question a showbiz legend? Dear Committee Frog here, I'm gonna make you eat the ashes of your children. Ha! <laughs> ha! I'm back! Still, you're making progress if you can realize how dumb you were yesterday. Decatur Herald, Illinois, May 18th, 1934. Man. Well, well, thank you, old guy. I may be a shambling, socially awkward, anxious mess with no time management or conversation skills. This woman will put bees in your office. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on her. I'm starting an apiary. Good night to sexy evil people only. Everyone adding character this is wrong except whoever added doofenshmirtz. You. You have taste. Therapist. Tell me about some of your happy childhood memories. My... my what? You know what? This year sucked so much in so many ways. It was painful, unfair, cruel, and difficult, to say the least. The new year won't magically erase all the problems and issues we faced in 2020, but I genuinely hope you and your loved ones are able to catch a break. I hope 2021, in whatever way it's possible, is kinder to you. I hope healing comes fast, and I hope all the heaviness put upon you starts to lessen. Seriously, anyone who thinks that January 1st is going to magically fix everything that happened this year? Naive as frick! New Year's is a time to reflect on all the dogs and cats we've seen this year, and to look forward to all the dogs and cats we'll see in this year to come. Now that's more like it. Being on Tumblr is just so cozy, you know what I mean? Instagram and Twitter are all flashy and loud, but Tumblr is as cozy as my bedroom with scented candles on a cold November night. I don't know what part of Tumblr this person's on, but I want to find it. Uh, bro, what's with the diagonal red lines in your face? Wait a minute. Oh shit, are you anime blushing because you're in love with me, bro? 
It's okay, dude. You, you can tell me, bro. We're bros. I don't want to socialize today. I did that yesterday. I'd rather lock myself in my room and build Legos all day. I know that feeling. The opposite of formaldehyde is casual the Jekyll. Bruh. <laughs> I can't believe I read this post with my own fucking eyes. Item, Cadbury crab eggs. Appear to be standard confectionery, but when eaten, a live and angry blue crab emerges, presumably attacking the eater. This is just part of Maryland culture. I know this is dumb, but I think that Australia exists. Like, the ocean is largely unexplored there. There could very well be a fallen empire, and we haven't found it yet. I made Atlantis, you asshole!